Hello everyone. Today we are playing Universe Sandbox. Um, I have not played Universe Sandbox in a very long time. And you might be wondering, where is the Earth? As you can see, there, there's a big gap between Venus and Mars. Earth should be right here. Well, if we take a look over here, I've sent the Earth over here. No, not really, but I made a different simulation with the Earth and the Moon. And we are going to see how many times we can destroy the Earth. So, we are going to go through every possible way to destroy the Earth in terms of, like, you know. Alright, so, I think we should start by naming it something. Sadness. There we go. Sadness, because it's gonna be... You know, it's just gonna... It's gonna have crippling depression. That That's what it's gonna have. <laughs> By the time I'm done with this, it is not gonna be sad. It is gonna be crippling. So, let's just... How about we... Lost the density. And we just increase the mass until it just pops. Until it becomes so non-dense that it's literally the opposite of a black hole. So it, instead of, it'll literally be like a helium balloon. Yeah, so we have turned Earth into a star. I I wouldn't call it that destroyed. It's still in one piece, so I'm just gonna go full savage. Let me get out the explode tool. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Three, two, one, poof. And now the sun, or no, now sadness is a supernova. Earth destroyed count one. Now we just have to do that a lot more times, but we have to get more creative every single time. So, what next? Um, let's go with one of the most obvious. Let's just bake the Earth until it just vanishes. Yep. Uh, so yeah, guess that's another way to destroy the Earth, um, hmm. what else should we do? How about we make it spin so fast that it just falls apart? I mean, that might not happen in the game, but if it was spinning fast enough, it would just tear itself apart. So, let's make it rotate so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Let's slow it down to one millisecond. Look at how fast it's spinning. That is ridiculous. Now we're literally at zero. Zero time. At this level, we are not moving. It's might the game might as well be paused. Hold on. Holy. Now, this what this is what it looks like when it's spinning normally at 
24 hours in the bottom left here. But it still isn't destroying itself. So I say we just send a black hole through it. And it only needs to be one solar match. Nothing insane. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's have it go at the speed, or no, if it, I send it through at the speed of light, it won't really do much. It's just going to pass through it and not take much. That isn't what we want. We want it to destroy the Earth. So, light speed, 0 0.005, how about? At this scale, it isn't, it isn't even. Let's give it a hand. There we go. Way better. Oh my god. See, now, at this scale, like, I just realized that it's going 500 times the speed of light. The Earth is literally spinning so fast. If you stood on it for one second, you would literally, like, evaporate or something. I don't even know what would happen. Okay. Now is the moment where I pause the game and slow it the heck down. Hold on a second. I need to... And now, I change this to one second. Oh! Now the Earth is a star again, except I can't make it go supernova again. So how about we just... How big is Jupiter? Uh, I'd say it's about the size... It's... My god, it's like exactly the same size as the sun. How about... Oh, I got a good idea. How about we have it eat? How about we have it eaten by the entire universe? Or I guess that didn't work. That won't do a thing. But it does emotionally corrupt the game when I make an object that big. Um. Or how about we just. Do it the simple way of just deleting the earth. That should have been the first way I did it. Okay. Now what? How about we have Jupiter ram into it? Mm. Alright. That was an easy kill. Next. Alright, um. We already did a black hole. Let's see what settings we have on this. Let's turn it into a black hole, how about? We'll just. Turn it into a black hole. Oh my god. Come on. Black hole. Black hole. I think it's a black hole now. It better be a black hole. Come on. Yep. It's a black hole. It still has, it literally has the mass of two moons in a space about half the size a grain of salt, I think. Um, next, how else should we destroy this? 
How about we fight fire with fire? Or I guess in this case, we fight earth with earth. This one better die. What? They went through each other? And... Hmm. Let's just rip it apart by just... Hmm. Let's give it a billion of Saturn's rings. There, I think that's good. Oh my god. Whoa! The moon's gravity is doing something weird to those rings. We've got a bit of a Nike swoosh going on. Hmm. Next time the moon passes, it's gonna do even weirder patterns. It looks like, it looks like a hurricane, kind of, like from the top, where there's like spirals going into the eye of the storm, it kind of looks like that. Also, the earth is becoming like, very sad at, at this moment, like, I just, it doesn't want to go through this pain, but I just, yep, there we go. Now, not only do you look ugly, but you are not looking, but you are not looking too fancy. Um, yeah, that, if you can't tell, that is North America. I think the Bahamas have moved in, because I don't see no Bahamas anymore, other than a weird banana looking thing. All that's left of the Bahamas is a banana. Everything else, it is in Hudson Bay now, I think. Yeah, that's Hudson Bay. Um, there's also an island in, I guess that's the new Hudson Bay. So, moving on, I'd say we have corrupted the earth. My game couldn't take any more of that, I'm sorry. Uh, hmm. How else? Hmm. How about, since we have destroyed the Earth with one enormous planet, let's just destroy it with a bunch of tiny planets. Let's, um, we'll just do the moon. The moon is getting angry that it has to orbit the Earth every single day, so it's, it wants vengeance, and now an entire army of moons <laughs> have teamed up, and they are going to destroy the Earth, destroying themselves in the process. Ah, why does that keep happening? I guess I'll cut. Okay, there we go. All the moons have been played. <laughs> oh my god. This is just... I guess I just have one thing to say at this point. It was nice knowing you, Earth. It was really nice. They're just all slowly moving in. It's like a magnet. You know what? This... This one wants to join in too. There we go. Let's speed this up. This is boring. I don't want this video to be 40 minutes. And... First impact. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I think that corrupted the earth. And now the real moon is impacted. Except it still isn't dead. Hmm. How else can we do this? Hmm. Oh, I know. We can just max that out. Yeah, it'll just 
burn alive. It's already kind of doing that. I guess we could call that destroyed. So, how about we just crush it with its at with its own atmosphere? Let's just crush the Earth. Surface pressure. Perfect. And just freaking go bonkers on that. Any life that tries to survive will not survive. Oh my god, you can see the atmosphere from here. It's like so blue. I need to get a new mouse. This is just terrible. Zoom in, dang it. I'm not zooming out. It's so blue, it looks so pretty. Looks very pretty. Except the Bahamas has now moved to Russia. Uh, and parts of the Bahamas are in India, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's India. There's a weird panhandle or something that moves into freaking China or Nepal or whatever. I don't know. Moving on. Also, can you tell I named that D3 struct with a K and S1M? Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty clever. Yeah, yeah not really. Alright. Um, hmm. How about we just make the Earth look so ugly that it just decides not to live anymore? That might work. So, atmosphere color. Let's make it look ugly. Um, oh, I got the perfect color. The CO2 is just piling up. All the cow farts are really taking a toll on the earth. That's why the atmosphere is brown. A uh, cloud color. Let's just make it sad, too. All the smog that the Onceler released is piling up. Uh, liquid water color. Also white black and ice color well we'll go up nice on the ice <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll go nice on the ice um <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, that was amazing now you can't even see antarctica it was shy before but it just doesn't want to live there, now it's all made of poop. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta, we gotta add some poop to the land as well. Uh. There. Why isn't that working? What the heck, it isn't working. Why the heck is the Bahamas still in, uh, Russia? I don't get it. Okay, I'd say that the Earth is just... Whoa! It vanished! Oh my, um... Yeah, it was so ugly, it just decided not to live anymore. Moving on. Uh... Okay... Hmm... What else can we do? Oh, I think I have a clever way of doing this. If I do this, then we'll make it zero years old. Er. Okay, apparently that isn't working. Okay, yeah, that didn't seem to work. Uh, how else can we do this? Oh, the Alberto, Alberto, or whatever the heck that was. I think it was in here. Um, hmm. Or we can just get rid of its magnetic field. That way it'll suffer due to short-term memory. Oh, <coughs> wrong movie. Um, 
it'll suffer due to its lack of magnetic field ism. I don't know why I said ism. Hmm. Now we'll just have that down there. Uh. Hmm. Let's auto orbit. Okay, it isn't orbiting anything. Uh. We'll just make it deformed. There we go. There, now the Earth is upside down. Are you happy? You upset your moons. And now they're fighting back. And apparently the Bahamas are still on vacation. Or wait, don't people go to the Bahamas on vacation? How about we just wipe out humanity? Let's just get rid of the city lights. And we'll just wipe out the earth the good old dinosaur way. By hitting, by hitting them with an asteroid. Bam. Now the earth, or all life on the earth is destroyed. And as long as that happens, the earth is destroyed. Moving on. How else? I feel like we gotta send the earth out with a bang. Um. Yes. <laughs> you know where I was going with this. Uh. Hmm, what is what is here? Uh, yes. We'll wipe the earth out with the Death Star. And you know what? I think I just happen to have a spare Death Star. I think it's jumping out of hyperspace right now. Hold on. Where is it? Oh my god. You stupid piece of human mouse. Freaking zoom in. There, that's better. And as you can see, I have the Death Star disc. This is actually really just Saturn's moon. This, this old thing. See the, see the similarity? Yep, you saw it. So, let's send the Death Star to Earth. Shall we? Dropping... Um, uh, Emperor, I think your battle station went a bit too far on that one. Let's just make this easy on good old Palp. <laughs> if you didn't know what I was saying, I meant Palpatine. You know, that's his nickname, Palp. Okay, oh is like I don't know what this is but we'll destroy the earth good old Star Wars way okay that didn't destroy the earth like I thought it would give me a second my childhood lied to me there, that's better. The Death Star blew up the Earth. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, if you couldn't tell, um, I blew that up. I guess. But the Death Star did blow up other planets. I guess the Earth is just too big. Hmm. Let's try and take it out with something small. The smallest thing in the game, in fact. Let's get a dice. Or actually, it's one object, so it's it should be die, not dice. Dice is referring to two things. Die is one thing. <clears throat> I think it's time for the Earth to die. <laughs> oh. And... Three, two, one. Oh my god, that actually sent a shockwave around here. Um, is there any crater? I don't think there is any crater. 
but once again the Bahamas have pretty much moved out are, are they still living in Russia I bet they are yep look at that the freaking Bahamas are now in Russia <clears throat> again I cannot believe this are, are they still in parts of freaking Thailand too are they still in Thailand Still having a nice old vacation in Thailand? Mm, I wouldn't say so, though, but the beaches are looking a bit sus. They look like they have that Bahama blue. We'll teach Russia a lesson. We'll send them a nuclear warhead. And by nuclear warhead, I mean Death Star. <clears throat> We're not even gonna destroy the Earth, we're just gonna destroy Russia. Oh, I, I guess I wiped out India instead. Poor India. At least that takes care of T-Series. Now let's move on. I think this will be the last one. My video is getting pretty long. Alright, uh... Hmm. How about... We say we're gonna need the whole simulation for this one. How about we say that Neo Wise in 2020, it or 2019, I don't know what, I don't even remember what year it was, but let's just say that it passed too close to the sun and the sun sent Neo Wise on a trajectory to Earth. No, that would take an insane amount of unluckiness, but we're gonna do it anyways. For fun. You know what? I, I don't have time for this. Let's just... Neowise, do your thing. What? It went through the earth? Oh my god. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the video there. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss stuff like this. We will destroy the solar system and the Milky Way thousands of times over. And... Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.